Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look right here. I always say my intros like that, I don't really know why. So I'm absolutely buzzing with how this look came out. I thoroughly like it, I thoroughly enjoy doing it. So I hope you enjoy it as well. Please excuse my voice at the start of the video especially. I am currently filled up with the flu again and I've also got a viral infection so... I don't feel the best but it was it was it's a Friday night that I'm filming this and I was bored all day because I wasn't allowed to go to work doctor's orders so I wanted to feel pretty so without further ado let's just jump straight into the tutorial okay guys so I've already drew my brows on and prepped my eyes um so I'm just gonna go straight in with the look so today I'm going to be using the Morphe and James Charles palette. I've only actually used this once on a client. I haven't actually like tried it on myself. And please excuse the way I sound. I'm full up with a cold and I have a viral infection so I feel like shit. But nonetheless, what better way to kind of make yourself feel better than to just glam yourself up for no goddamn reason. So if you haven't seen the palette before, which I'm assuming most of you have, this is what it looks like. It comes with a huge like array of colours. Um, so I don't really know what we're going to be doing. I feel like I want to do like a greeny look for a change because I haven't done green for a while on my channel, a main focus. So I feel like I want to do like a green type of um, look today. I'm not one of these people who like practice makeup beforehand and then film a tutorial. I just kind of like roll with it and go in with it because I think it's more fun that way because you never kind of know what's going to like work until you try it and I just, I think that's more fun. So I'm just going to quickly go back over my eyes just to make sure I haven't got no crease in. Also please excuse like all the breakouts I have on my skin because I am unwell and under the weather. My lip has split by here so I can hardly smile and it's really sore. All my nose is all dry and flaky. I have spots by there, by there, by there, by there on my nose, everywhere. Dry skin, a lot. And excuse my hair. I don't even know what is going on. I don't even know what this bit is doing either. But who cares? So I'm just going over my eye with a fluffy brush just to make sure that everything is set. And then jumping into the palette, I think I'm going to go in with this green down by here. It did come with a little like card, but I can't be asked to keep looking on me. But I think this shade is Daddy. Weird shade. But I'm going to go in with the green shade first. So I'm actually trying a new brush today. This is the Molly O'Brien Greasy M03 brush. I've seen Makeup by Lindsay um, use this brush and she like swears by it. So of course I had to try it. So I'm just going to be using this to start. So I'm going to go into Daddy. Oh, that picks up a lot. Oh, there is a bit of a kickback to it though. And I'm just going to start like right by here. I'm not going to zoom you in because my skin looks shit and it's, you just don't want to see all this. So I'm going to start pressing that green on. Really light handed as always. You know we don't go in with heavy hands here on my channel. It is quite pigmented though. So today is currently Friday the 25th of January. I like to pre-record like whenever I get a chance because I never know like how busy my working week is going to be from one week to the next. So I like to pre-record videos when I can. Um, and today I actually, I've been ill, today's Friday so I've been ill since Tuesday when I first started to come down with this flu. Um, and I had to like, I've had to rearrange so many clients, so if you're one of these clients that I've had to rearrange, I am super duper sorry for having to rearrange you, <laughs> but I've honestly, don't think I've ever felt this unwell in my life. So I woke up this morning, I felt horrific, well I actually woke up 2 o'clock this morning and was sick, TMI I know, but I thought to myself, oh my god, there is just no way that I can go to work tomorrow. Um, so when I got up this morning, I managed to get an appointment in the doctor's. So I went there and he checked me over. 
and I had a temperature that was higher than normal. Um, my throat's quite red and inflamed but not infected. Um, and I have a lot of like, it sounds like me again, but I have a lot of like, like a lot of phlegm on my lungs. Um, so he did advise at least three days of work. Fantastic. Not. And plenty of fluids, plenty of paracetamol, and plenty of rest. And here I am, sat down doing a makeup tutorial because I've been bored shitless. So I'm just bringing that green all the way around just to create like a nice circle shape. Oh, and there's the patchiness coming on my eye. So then I'm just lightly buffing the edge. Ever so slightly like that. Then I'm going to go in with the same brush, but a different one because I bought two. And I'm going to go in with the lighter green by here. I don't know what this is going to look like, but we're just going to roll with it. I'm going to go in with our green. I'm just going to blend that on top. So did anybody see my wedding video that I uploaded on my channel? If you did, let me know in the comments what you thought. I'd love to know what you thought. Obviously, I loved it. <laughs> it was the best damn day of my life. <coughs> and it was super funny because I was in the doctor's. And obviously, I'm married, so I'm not Williams anymore. I'm Frances. And the doctor came out and he was like, Laura Frances? And I was like looking around. Oh my god, that's me. <laughs> I just cannot get used to being called Francis. I just can't do it. Now I'm going to go in with the yellow from the palette. Just taking this on a little like fluffy brush. I'm just going to lightly just buff that. over the green just to diffuse it slightly. So the one thing I've got to say about this palette, I probably sound like I can't be arsed, it's not that, it's just my throat is so like so that I can't talk loud. <laughs> so just please be with. But the one thing I will say about this palette is that the blendability of these shadows are like stunning. Like they really are blending beautifully. No problem blending them together at all. And then I'm just going to go back in with that first green. Just sort of push him upwards. And then I'm going to go back in with the yellow. So when you've got this type of look, I'm going to go in with a like darker colour now just to intensify that. So I'm going to go in with this one by here. I don't really know what it is, I think it's like a dark brown. But I'm just going to take that on a crown C528. And I'm just going to pop this like right in the crease. Just to add that tiny bit of like depth to the look. Deep. <coughs> so now that you've got that deep dark like edge to it, I'm going to go back in with the green. So then I'm going to go in with the P. Louise Butter Black, Butter Black Base. And I'm just going to put some on my hand. 
And then I'm going to go in with two pigments. I'm going to go in with the Peaches and Cream Cactus, which is like a dark green. And then the Rattlesnake, which is like a greeny gold like shift. And we're just going to see how this comes out. So, I'm going to take this brush. I'm going to cover it in the base. I'm just going to start packing that base onto my eye. just lightly push it up <coughs> into a darker shade because I don't want to do it like a cut crease or like a spotlight I want it to be kind of like messy-ish hello <whistles> thanks babe thanks honey no problem in with it before you can start pinching things from my bed. What's that? What's that? I haven't seen it for a long time. Oh my god, you've been with me all day. So then I'm just gonna pop a little bit of cactus on the outside. Oh damn, that's pretty. on the inside and then taking the 231 Lux Petite brush by Zoe Lem, I'm just going to take Rattlesnake oh wow I'm just popping that down the middle Just to create that like dual chrome two tone effect. Oh my god. I love that. So, I'm quickly gonna jump off the camera and do the other eye, and then I'll be back. So, for under my eye, I'm gonna line my eye with the Zoeva Graphic Eyes Good Karma, which is like a shimmery green. So, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see me do this. And then I am going to go on top of that with the Zoeva Black to Earth. So then I'm going back in with the dark green that we used. Just taking that on a fluffy brush. Just going to smoke under the eye. like that and then I'm just gonna go and take a little bit of the yellow which I don't know what that's called and just blending that just on top and then with a flat shade I'm just gonna go back in with a dark brownie colour and just press that like right into the lash line. I'm also going to take that dark shadow and just press it on top of my lash line as well. Really thin just to create that like dark line when we put our lashes on. And then I'm going to go in with a little brush like this. I don't know why I keep looking into the viewfinder. Mac shadow. I'm just going to see if this is going to, oh, oh yes. So I'm going to pop off camera to put the lashes on and the mascara <laughs> and then I'll be back to do my face. But I'm going to show you the lashes I'm going to use. So these are the lashes. They're the Tabby Lash by Lux Lashes London. They are super thick, super fluffy, um, proper wispy, like full on thick lashes and I feel like this look needs something like that. So that's what I'm gonna go do and I'll be right back. Okay, so lashes and mascara are on and now we're gonna go on to the face. So I actually bought the new Morphe foundation concealer and powder. Um, I don't know if I 
want to use this right now because I know there is hella matte and I've got so much like dry skin going on because I'm ill so I don't think I'm going to use the foundation but I do think I'm going to give the concealer a go um I did want to use them all together but I don't know when my skin is going to be like normal again from this flu and I think by the time it is normal everybody's like first reviews on the actual like products will probably be up so there's no point me doing a first impression I don't think but I'm going to use the concealer for today anyway and then maybe I will do a first impression of using all the products like together as a bundle just to see how they work so I got the concealer in the shade C2.15 so I feel like that's going to be a good like highlighty under under eye shade so the foundation I'm going to go in with today, I haven't actually used for quite a while. So it's the Kiko Milano Unlimited Foundation. This is in the shade Neutral 40. I think it might be a bit light, but we're just going to roll with it because it's like 10 to 10, so who really cares? So I'm just going to go in with a PC24, which is a big, like, buffing brush. I'm just going to start to pat this into my skin as per usual. so much redness on my skin at the minute. Oh, I absolutely detest being barred. I used to use this all the time like back early last year and then for some reason I don't know if it was like a primer or moisturizer that I was using at the time but it used to keep breaking up like around my nose and around clients noses and I don't know why so I'm just putting it on base skin like no primer I did moisturize but like that was earlier no primer or anything today to see if perhaps it performs like better on um and prime skin because like some foundations i think do because some primes cause like that slippery like slippy surface underneath so i wanted to see if it does actually make a difference by putting it just on like unprimed skin so i'm going to test out the concealer Cause I what is this what is going on with my swede i just don't understand so that's a nice little doe fur It's quite thick. It smells like paint. Ooh. So I'm just going to go in with a Real Techniques brush. And just pat that in. <laughs> Okay, so concealer dries down quite quick. So I'm pushing that concealer into the under eye as normal, into the eyeshadow because we're going to blend, just buff it out a little bit in a minute. To set the under eye, I'm going in with the Huda Beauty um, setting powder and I'm actually going to take the Morphe uh, sponge and I'm just going to like press this into my face just by you just to set the under eye then to set the rest of my face I'm going to try the Morphe filter effect finishing powder I put filter six because I didn't really get the color like choices online so filter six looks like this which I think might be all right actually so it comes like that and then you lift this up and it has like a little pad that we're not going to be using i'm just going to take that on another peaches pc24 
just set the rest of my face. Oh. Wow. That significantly like filled my pores in my ear. Like you can still see them, but they look a bit bigger on this side than that side. Oh. I really like that. So now to bronze, I'm taking my Marc Jacobs bronzer, you guessed it. Just taking that on a um, blush brush. Just gonna start to bronze up my face. Then I'm going back in, not back in, but I'm using it again because I love it. The MAC Peaches Blush. Just taking that on a Spectrum Angled Brush. So to highlight, what shall I use? So to highlight, I'm going in with the Primark Pure Glow Palette. And what's my highlighting brush? Taking a mixture of this one and this one, which is Firefly and Glimmer. Just like that, giving them a bit of a mix. Putting this onto my nose. For lips, I'm going in with the Morphe Sweet Tea Lip Learner, my fave. Then I'm going to go in with the Primark Mini Liquid Lipstick in, it doesn't have a name, it's awesome. <laughs> just going to take that on a brush just so I can blend it better. My lips are like ridiculously dry because they're all broken. <laughs> and that stings. Then I'm gonna go in with the P. Louise Holler lip gloss, like a peachy colour. And then to finish everything off, I'm going in with the House of Sparkles Glow Mist in Booed Up. I'm just gonna shake it. This spray is stunning. It got such a nice like nozzle as well. Lands beautiful, but the smell smells like gone off flowers. <laughs> I don't like the smell, but I like the mist. So this is it guys, this is the finished look. I'm absolutely buzzing without it coming out. I love it, like I wanna wear it all the time. It's stunning. I understand that green might not be like everybody's type of colour, but I love green. Like if I could wear green on my eyes all the time, I totally would. And I'm really digging this. Like I think their pigments really made the eyes pop. The James Charles palette I think is amazing. The colours blend seamlessly. All of the matte shades that I used blended perfectly together. No problems whatsoever. So I would definitely recommend that if you can get your hands on it. If you've already got it, well done because I had to wait for the second round as well. So hard to get. But yeah, that palette is amazing. The pigments I thought worked really well together. These lashes are giving me life. Totally. And yeah, I'm a big fan of the Morphe concealer and the Morphe powder. I have watched quite a few reviews where people are like, either love it, they either hate it, they like the one, they don't like the other. So I am yet to obviously use the foundation, but my skin is literally quite dry and obviously quite flaky around my nose. I didn't really want to try the foundation as a first impression today with the other products because I didn't want it 
to kind of compromise my first impression with the condition that my like skin is in um but I will try the like foundation the concealer and the powder together to see how they perform layered on top of each other but so far I absolutely love the concealer I like the coverage I like the consistency I like how it blends and the powder just filled my pores in so I love that but yeah I mean I can't really give a kind of definite like opinion on concealers about creasing because I've got such creasy eyelids anyway no matter what concealer what powder it creases on me because I've got wrinkly under eyes and that's just something I can't help but I like to test concealers out by how they blend, how they look on my skin, if they like good coverage, stuff like that. So that is why I'm basing my little opinion on now with that concealer. Oh, that was a long ass outro. So if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not already. Don't forget to turn the little bell on. You'll be notified then when I upload videos, which is every Wednesday and every Sunday. My social media links are popping up on the screen right now, so be sure to go and follow me on those, especially Instagram, that is where I'm most active. So yeah, I think that is pretty much it. I hope you're having a fantastic week wherever you are, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!